We are here at uh, Eon Reality. In fact, right behind me is an immersible room. And joining me now is Mats Johansson. He is the president of Eon Reality. Mats, tell us what exactly is an immersible room? It's a uh, 3D environment where you can uh, present a virtual uh, rock outcrop, like Raskas is doing in this case. And you can walk around it and get perspective viewing and really immerse yourself, just like if you were out in the field experiencing the real thing. So you can think of it a little bit like a holodeck in the old Star Trek uh, movies, but for scientific uh, training purposes and so forth. Well, it is. It's very interesting. I've been in there and it uh, I've, didn't quite fall off the cliff. Um, but it really does give you that wonderful feeling um, that you're, you're right in the middle of the, the rock surface almost. And tell us, when we look right through, what is it actually mapping out for the geologists? How is it helping them? So in this case, uh, the, the geologists have scanned a rock outcrop in UAE called the Hanging Gardens. And it's a, a famous analog to how the subsurface looks in Qatar. So what they can do is that they, they bring the rock out curve back into the office or into the training room so they can either analyze or they can teach new students how to interpret the data and that's really the key thing. And when this is captured out in the field, uh, laser scanners, LiDAR technology is used to capture not only the images like you would with a, a, a regular camera but also the topography or the 3D surface using laser techniques. Um, tell us just a little bit more then about who can actually use this and the benefit it will be to other companies. Absolutely. So if we look at uh, my company, we developed this uh, iCube mobile technology. And it's used in aerospace, it's used in the energy sector, it's used in education sector. So since we're at IPTC, specifically in the energy sector, uh, about 60% or so of the use is in uh, operations training. Uh, teaching technicians how to uh, uh, do a maintenance procedure or run a plant or perhaps train the safety scenario. Uh, about 30% or so is used by geophysicists to either interpret uh, uh, rock outcrop data like we see here or uh, learn about different equipment they use. And finally, about 10% or so is used in the design process when you build a new plant just to visualize because it doesn't exist yet, you can still be there and experience it. Now, I've seen so many people come and go through here. It's actually a very interactive display and people tend to enjoy it. We're having a bit of fun too. Um, so how has it been for you to be here at the exhibition? Oh, it's, been a, it's been a great experience. We have uh, received really terrific feedback uh, from all of our visitors and I think everyone, uh, they're hungry for more and that's what we like to hear. Super. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us as well. Thank you. Thank you.